Hey everyone, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome to my channel. It's Monday afternoon and we have an update on a story that we did a few weeks ago. I have been working all day on another couple videos that I had just done, actually one where we talked about a little girl named Sophie and then a Duggar pile earlier. When I started to get some messages from some of my subscribers about a video I did a few months, about a month ago, related to Benji and Judy Travis of It's Judy's Life. Now, the family has been on YouTube for a very long time. They, I believe since like 2012 even. They are one of the OG family vloggers and have been on the platform for a very long time. And for a very long time, Benji's brother was on the channel with them, appeared in videos. Even his wife, Amy, had their own vlogging channel. Suddenly and very abruptly, Julian disappeared from videos and people started to wonder what was going on. They started to notice that questions were being asked about things that Julian may have done to people and then there was some allegations and an arrest and time that was spent behind bars. Well, over the last several years, Julian's ex-wife has spoken out about what she experienced with her, in her marriage to Julian and most recently in December of 2019, Valerie, a nanny and cousin to Benji, spoke out about what Julian Travis did to her. In a series of three videos, Valerie shared what happened in her life when she was nannying for Judy and Benji. During that time, she was seen in videos on both Benji and Judy's channels. She nannied for their daughters and she was living with Benji's sister, Mel, Benji and Julian's sister, Mel. She described a very, something very serious that happened that Julian had done to her. And then he also went on and did it to one of their friends who later was, he was later arrested for that and he was sentenced to some time behind bars. She eventually went ahead to try to press charges. They ended up dropping her case due to lack of evidence. So there's been a lot of speculation online about why, Ju why Judy and why Benji haven't said anything and fans for a very long time have been making comments about how they still have Julian in their lives, that they have ghosted Valerie and Amy, that there has been this big thing that like Julian is being financially supported by them. And in Valerie's video, she did call them out and basically said that they weren't supporting her and she couldn't believe that they were still connected to him. She also alleged that he was getting odd jobs through their cameraman or videographer, and she alleged that they were still connected. Judy actually showed up into one of my live streams and said that that wasn't true and that they had cut ties with him a long time ago. And they also said that they did not support any of his actions and they supported Valerie. Well, then Valerie responded a few days later and she said that they had reached out to her and she had chosen to accept them reaching out. Well, in the last few weeks, Valerie's video has been getting a ton of views. Like it's oh, it's approaching 100,000 views. In that video, she specifically names Julie and Travis, but she does not name Benji and Judy. Well, as more and more people are getting a learning of the story, I'm guessing there's been a lot more energy and heat that's ended up on Judy and Benji's platform. In my opinion, this very much seemed like a very impossible situation for Benji and for Judy to be in. Uh, it also seemed like a little bit inconsistent with what Judy's empowerment was of how she stood by all women when there was women in her life that were saying that she didn't stand by them. Valerie was mixed. Initially, she accepted her reaching out and then later she was over it. And now Benji and Judy, after being silent on this, refusing to comment and do anything, have finally publicly said what's happened. And it's kind of bizarre in a way because Judy posted, uh, posted a thread in her community tab on her channel and then Benji posted a little gray picture and a statement on his Instagram. Neither addressed Julian by name and neither actually said what happened. Instead, they sort of talked about misconceptions and untruths that were spreading because of it. So some fans were a little bit shocked, but let me tell you what actually was said by the family. So in Benji's response, he, which he posted on Instagram, he said, 
For many years, our family has been dealing with very unfortunate and horrendous actions of an individual that has to do with people very close to us. Though we share our lives very publicly, there are things we do not want to, we do want to keep to ourselves. In fact, we believe that, especially if it is in our own actions, it's something we leave off our platforms. Additionally, our desire to keep this matter private is to respect the privacy of our family and the people who choose to be not in the spotlight of social media. We take this very seriously considering the influence that we have. Some of the actions related to the matter I refer to above involve SA and people care and, and people we care deeply about. We know how hard it is been for us to deal with this so it goes to it goes without saying that their pain cannot be put into words because of this we have always been very supportive of their efforts to do what is right in seeking justice speaking their truth and pursuing peace in whatever ways that come we've always been a hundred percent behind their need to share this so he's obviously referring to valerie and valerie did say in her third video when she was calling them out sort of that Benji had been very supportive of her. He had offered to let, um, he had offered to like punch ben Julian in the face, like jokingly, and told Valerie that he did support her and was truly sorry for what happened. He continued by saying, recently there have been some untrue statements and because of our choices to not deal with this on social media, misinformation has been spread about our family and our stance on this. Judy, Judy and I completely denounce this sort of behavior whatsoever and do not want anyone in our lives that perpetuates these kinds of actions. As a result, the person who is responsible for these actions has not been in a has not been a part of our lives for a very long time and we do not support him in any way whatsoever. Lastly, to those who accuse us of not supporting the late the women from the beginning we only wanted what was best for their healing many times we have been the ones to reach out and have been met with refusal of that support or non-responses which is understandable considering how difficult this is we continue to want what's best for them and we are always just a phone call away love is all we have to give and we hope that this is what you receive from this message thank you all for your support and continued respect for our family's wish for privacy and then he provided the national hotline through rain um, for individuals that needed help now judy's response was a little bit more i would say i think overall like benji's statement is pretty consistent with what valerie had said where you know he was supportive she was the one that was pretty clear that it was benji that had reached out to her it was benji that had offered a lot of support and her primary cr criticism had always been with judy now judy's response on her on her community tab was a little bit different and she said recently it came to our attention that deeply personal private and devastating family issues were being aired publicly when she said aired publicly would mean valerie's videos that she made about julian we have known about these issues that involves sa for some time and we have not spoken up on social platforms because it was very it was a very complicated matter that we wanted to keep private we wanted to keep this private in order to protect innocent family members who had and continued to be hurt by the reprehensible actions of one individual. Their pain is of course not the same as the victims, but it is a pain nonetheless. Please note that despite what the online rumors say, we do not support this individual in any way, financially or otherwise, and we have not communicated with him for some time now. As parents of four young girls, we have zero tolerance or any actions of this. Anyone who is a victim of this and has spoken up about this is an absolute hero. It takes an incredible amount of courage, which I admire and respect. I applaud them for standing up for themselves because it helps others understand that it's not okay and that they're not alone in their struggle. In our circumstances, we reached out and offered support when we found out what happened. We have not blocked, unfollowed, or ghosted any family members or friends before from personal contact. In fact, we exchanged friendly messages last year with the family members affected by this individual. We never insinuated that our support is not there. Our outreach and support either was not accepted or we didn't hear back. We understand that we want to move on with their, we understand that they want to move on with their lives and distance themselves from anyone that reminds them of him. The last thing they'd want to do is cause any more pain. This is all we plan to say on this matter at this time. We understand that this is not about us, it's about the women, but we felt it necessary to correct 
hurtful, damaging untruths about Benji and myself that are being spread online. Thank you for your understanding of this difficult situation and we ask you that you continue to respect our wishes to keeping dealings with this private. Our hearts and prayers go out to all of these victims and we urge them to contact the hotline and get to get help and support that they deserve. So overall, her tone was that, you know, she reached out to them, she's not supporting Julian, that there's no ghosting that's happened. And when I ended up picking up this story, it was after Valerie had posted her first video and she had felt abandoned by them. There was a lot of rumors circulating in all the different gossip boards like uh, YouTube Mama Drama, Guru, um, Guru Gossip, all the like subreddits. And a lot of people were implying that, you know, Judy and Benji were still connected to Julian, that he was being, you know, helped financially. Amy, his ex-wife, um, implied that on Instagram that Julian was still receiving some sort of support by Julian and ben, or by Benji and, and Judy. So there was a lot of confusion about what was going on, but a lot of people really did feel like they had been ghosted. And because they had not said anything publicly about the ladies, they really weren't, it was very confusing. The only thing I do find a little bit disingenuous here is that they don't name Julian's name. I would say, honestly, if they would have been a little bit more forthright and just said, listen, Julian did these things. We have cut Julian out of our lives. It would have made it so much easier. There's still going to be this lingering doubt of who that person is that they're talking about. And now people are going to go search out who they're talking about, which is exactly what's happening. Because I have videos that I've made on this very topic and people are blowing these videos up now because they brought attention to it. Obviously, I have no ill will against Judy and Benji, and I do think their response is actually very well. I mean, it's very well thought, it's very well written. Unfortunately, as Benji said, this all built up because they refused to deal with it. A note to self is that, you, a note for influencers is that sometimes you do have to address issues even if you don't want to. Even if it's bad for your brand or even if you think it doesn't fit with your platform, sometimes, especially with things this big, you almost have to make a statement just to stop the rumors from spreading because I do think their silence is what ultimately led to this buildup of it, this explosive response by Valerie and by Amy. Now, Valerie, Valerie actually finally responded and I reached out to Valerie and I let her know that I was making a video and she said, I'm glad that they finally said something and no hatred from me because I just don't have it in me, but their fans need to chill the F out with the victim blaming. I hope their whole family has a stupendous life ahead of them and I choose not to be a part of any of it anymore. So she wants to move on from it and then Valerie also shared on her Instagram a comment about... Valerie was getting a lot of heat for, um, she admitted to using some substances and people have been sort of blaming her for her part in this, which we should never be doing. But she responded on her Instagram by said, there shouldn't be sides in the cases of SA and, AB and ABUSE. There's no one to support, there's only one person to support the victims. But because the family of my RAP IST are popular in the YouTube and IG community, I get quite a bit of victim blaming from the fans and I will not stand for it anymore. There are not sides to stories. There is the person who gets physically and mentally hurt and if you don't believe them, then you suck as a human. I will not continue in this BS anymore with YouTube fans who think they are all knowing. B and J are absolutely fine and I have, not, I have no hatred for them, but I choose to not have any part of it in my life anymore because I'm happier with the people in the family who support me. I reached out and I expressed all of my feelings a couple days ago and that's the end of it. She also responded to Judy's, one of Judy's claims where Judy said, recently it came to our attention that deeply personal private information was being aired out public, publicly and she said, oh, you mean me speaking publicly about my RAPE? Those are my deeply personal, private, and devastating issues, my choice to speak publicly. Kudos on the amount of passive-aggressive digs you were able to include. So, it's not all being met with kindness, but overall, I think everyone might move on. I think that for Valerie and for Amy, this is a healing process, and the fact that it took them this long to acknowledge it um, created this mess, and I think the fact that they didn't say anything for such a long time is really what led to this buildup. 
At the end of the day, Judy and Benji are not perfect people. They will make mistakes and issues like this are incredibly complicated. And when you're not the person that's directly involved, it can be very confusing on how to handle it. And it is not uncommon for people who have gone through this to self-isolate and to refuse help or to not want to talk to the people that remind them of them. So for that part, I do think that that, you know, partly could have happened here. At the end of the day, all of these people are simply human. And my only criticism here is that they just should have said Julian's name. So I want to know what your thoughts are. Do you agree or disagree with the way that they've handled this? Do you think it's their lack of communication about this topic is really what led to this entire blow up? And do you think this will satisfy and squelch all the rumors online? I, for one, know that these rumors can spread so fast and I've tried to maintain a very steady hand in the way I've approached this topic. And I will continue to remain like relatively neutral here because I understand where Valerie is coming from, but I also understand the position that Benji and Judy are in. If they don't want to talk about it, they shouldn't be forced to say anything and hopefully everyone can move on. Obviously, if things come up, if more stuff happens, I will continue to update you guys. But for now, that's all I've got. Bye guys.